Ding dong, the witch is dead. Or you could toss a coin to your witch. I don't even know what's going on and neither does Netflix. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you like the witch or if you hate the witch or if you're not sure what to make of the witch or give us a like and a subscribe, we're going to be talking about it right now. Henry Cavill in October said, I am out. You got to find your, your new Geralt of Rivia. And he... Uh, said after season three he would no longer be there season three obviously the first half of it is out now the second half at the end of july uh there's been kind of hints dropped throughout the season that they're gonna that you can tell that they're gearing up for the change of Geralt. you know they've heard things about changing his appearance and and whatnot so there are little teases here and there what's going to come when uh, liam hemsworth takes over the role and netflix i don't think they anticipated the backlash that they were going to get i'm not sure how anyone couldn't anticipate this backlash henry cavill was not only the star of this show but he was also such a champion of the material itself now we always said he had problems with how they kind of disassociated themselves from the source material and some of the writers in the writers room didn't respect the source material which is a problem i think across the board on a lot of different ips now going forward and this is something that these studios have to deal with is if you're going to change something you've got to change it i think and and i i, I enjoy the witcher books quite a bit i'm very bad at the video game and i have been enjoying the show but i have to separate the show a lot from the books because if you start to compare them then you really the holes are very gaping and you know you really can't enjoy it that much netflix is gearing up to lose audience now they have advertising around saying yes he's still Geralt in season three there's various signs put up around makes no how do you if you're so certain that this is what your fandom wants, why couldn't you find a way to make it work with your star, with your champion of the material, with the person that your fan base entrusts to get the story across properly and effectively? Instead, it's in the hands of people who would rather make Game of Thrones than The Witcher. And that's kind of what I've been getting from season three is it feels like they don't want to necessarily make The Witcher. And obviously, they had the, the spinoff in December that just fizzled and failed miserably as well. There's a huge problem here. The Witcher should be a big property for Netflix. It was a big property for Netflix. The Rotten Tomato scores, not only for the audience, but for critics, has also dropped. It's still very positive and, and very high at 80-something percent for the critics, but it's dropped from 90%. Maybe the showrunners and the writers are getting too big of the, too full of themselves and decide to take it in their own direction thinking that they know best and it's starting to crash and burn on them. We're going to see what happens with Liam Hemsworth. Are you guys still excited about The Witcher season 4 coming out without Henry Cavill? It's going to be a big change, big adjustment. It's never it, it's never a great idea when your lead leaves a series midway through. I mean, this is supposed to be a 7-year commitment henry cavill said he was in for all seven years if they could stick to the source material and he left after three i don't know what that says let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching everybody give us a like and subscribe and until next time may you be the master of your own universe